I'm Angus Irwin. I'm the CEO and founder of Neutrog Fertilisers. Look, I have an absolute affinity to farmers and growers because I come from that background. I know how tough it is for them. And those farmers and growers rely upon the performance of our products to earn their livings. And, and I take that really seriously. Uh, I don't think making fertiliser describes what we do because it doesn't do it justice. It's way more than that. Neutrog has just exploded right across the gardening world and in fact the agricultural world as well. What is it that's behind this company that's hooked a gardener who's been gardening since he was four, working in the industry since he was 11, and that wasn't yesterday. Neutrog is a very different sort of company. Neutrog has evolved from a company that initially made a fertiliser based on composted chicken litter to now being a company which is really looking at the biology of the soil and how do we use that to benefit plant health. Dr Yui Stroer came up with a product called Populate. A lot of people come to me with their problems and one particular guy has a plantation and he had Phytophthora which is an endemic root disease uh, in his plantation of tea trees. He used Populate as a bit of a trial and it stopped Phytophthora in its tracks. That's never happened before in Australia's history. Neutrog have done that. The product is so good, it actually pushes back root diseases in the soil. With the development of Populate and the results we've seen to date has made it irrefutable that, that biologicals are the future. We're uh, producing a result literally in days, which is just unheard of with any fertilising product, let alone a biological product. Neutrog, it's an innovative company. I've spent 25 years in a university system doing research and one of the frustrating things with universities is that you do all this discovery but you never see an end use. It's all theoretical. At Neutrog it's very different. You know, we've come up with products and they have been applied and they have proven to be effective and I think that's really exciting. the only fertiliser company I know in the Southern Hemisphere that has a PhD microbiologist working for us and hence that's allowed us to evolve much faster in our thinking and understanding of, of, of biology. Yes, R&D, can you believe it? It's one of the largest R&D laboratory programs in gardening in the Southern Hemisphere. We need to take a lead in biological fertilisers in the country and we're looking to expand our existing laboratory into a far more substantial research and development centre so that people can come along and see exactly how we work and they'll be able to get a real feel for what we do. Our business has been built on on building and uh, developing relationships with garden clubs and serious gardeners. It's never going to change because you know, those clubs we're very close to play a really big role in our research and development. Have a look at Southern Impact for Roses. All the Australian Rose Societies, all the states have all got their ticks of approval. Food security actually brings into play another one of the things we do. When you apply fertilisers to your a land, you need to make sure that you're not applying with them pathogenic bacteria. We're in the process of developing a, a fixed and fully enclosed system that allows us to export our products into places like America and New Zealand, Korea, China, and where you just can't go these days because of biosecurity. Neutrog isn't a one string instrument, there's lots of strings to our bow. We've actually just installed a coating plant and we're getting to that point whereby farmers will be able to ring us up and say I want the phosphorus liberating bugs and we'll be able to push a button and spray it onto the pellets and that that really puts us into probably you know the probably the most advanced organic biological fertilizer companies in the world. 
One of the things that Nutrog don't do is we don't sit on our laurels. We're always pushing the frontiers. What's the next product? On my radar many, many years ago was coffee waste. In Australia, there's in excess of 150,000 tonnes a year of coffee waste. Most of it goes to landfill. And so we started a project with Food Bank with the name of Human Beans to put food on the table to the needy. And that, that, that's a terrific project that we're very excited about. Now, anything else you want me to tell you about Utrog? <laughs> yeah, a good mob. One of the best around, that's for sure. Where we've got to with our biological journey is really just at the beginning. And we are just, we are just literally at the beginning. <laughs>